This is my old duffel bag. This is the duffel bag and the bag I use for my travels um, for the past eight years. It has started to show its age and I want to improve the way I travel by looking at new and better bags. So today I'm gonna be unboxing a brand new bag the Osprey 95 liter transporter, um, and I'm gonna review it. Here's the box for the Osprey transporter 95 liter bag. I'm gonna just hop on in. So opening it up, looks like there's some packing materials. Um, here is the bag itself. All right, so here we are, the transporter duffel 95 liter bag. Um, this is pretty cool off of the first impression. The, the material feels great, but it also is packed up inside itself. So love this, great for storage. Um, and then we have some different tags here. Uh, one at the top, uh, this is I guess the warranty or the guarantee, um, which is awesome. And then here is the Osprey. Uh, bag, it's kind of telling you about it. Um, tough, built for comfort, good for activity, um, awesome. So I'm gonna take these off very quickly and then get to the bag itself. Now let's, uh, let's get in this bag. It does have a nice carrying handle there. Um, so you can see that, really, uh, really nice. Good quality zipper grip, good quality zipper. And let's get this thing out of itself. Oh, okay. All right, so this actually is a little uh, a pouch, so it's a separate piece, um, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, this would be good for storage, but I imagine you can actually use this as a, an interior packing cube as well for large items. Hold on to that. Okay, and here is the bag itself. Bring this out. All right. Now look at this. So off, off the bat, you know, this is, um, the first thing that struck me is the color. Kind of a, a deep, almost red, orange, um, you know, that's a, a great color. Um, you know, I like the way it looks. I, I um, picked this one because it was a bag that looked great. Okay, so I've had a moment to uh, just examine this bag and get my first impressions. Um, so this is, like I said, the Transporter 95 liter bag. First impressions are, looks great, looks modern. The material feels really durable, but also light. I mean, I think this bag comes in at around two pounds. Um, so it feels super light, um, but also feels really durable. It feels like you can put this thing through the ringer, um, take it outdoors, it will hold up fine. Uh, there, it is a, a relatively flexible bag, um, so there isn't much uh, you know, hard material. Um, it all kind of will bend around, so that way it's more packable. It will kind of morph to the things that are in it. One thing that uh, seems nice are these handles, um, which are great handles. Um, they feel amazing. There's one at the top, one on each side. Um, so you can be able to, to pull this, grab this from anywhere, toss the bag around. Um, great thing there. From the outside, it does have these clips. So you would be able to, to clip this shut, um, which helps keep things tidy. Uh, and it does have these lash points. So some different lash points here, uh, whether you want to put carabiners on there, or lash it down, let's say on a car, um, you would be able to do that. Um, but let's open up the bag and take a look at what is inside. Um, actually, before I do that, I'll show you some exterior um, features and we'll get to the backpack straps here in a minute. But here is the front. It looks like it's a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit dirty from transporting, but no big deal there. One thing that is nice is, is it does have this clear um, badge, so if you wanted to put uh, your ID or a bag tag or something there, you can do that. And it does have this little exterior pouch. So if you wanted to keep uh, phones, passports, things like that at the handy, um, keep them there and that will be good to go. But really this bag is, uh, you know, no frills. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, it does have this uh, U-shaped zipper, um, which opens kind of back to front or front to back. Um, not necessarily side to side, so a little bit unique um, design there. 
And once you open it up, you know, there is no frills to the interior of this bag. Um, you know, it is really just one large compartment. I mean, you can see if I'm standing it up that it is pretty deep. Looks like it will hold a good amount of things. Um, you know, there's not really any interior organization, which some people may or may not like. To me, that should be no issue. Uh, that's where things like packing cubes come into play. Um, and there also are these strap down. So ability to tie down um, different items within the bag, if that's something that you are looking for. So overall, no frills, um, but this is kind of what you are getting for the inside of the bag. In a minute, I'll load this up and show you what it looks like. Like I mentioned before, the zippers seem very high quality. Um, you know, they zip great. They've got these great uh, functional handles, so easy to zip. Let's go ahead and snap this down. So if we were traveling. And now let's go ahead and open up and see the storable backpack straps. And so this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to uh, look at and get this bag is for these straps. Um, the reviews of these straps were fantastic. Um, you know, they're they're thick, they're padded, good quality material. And compared to other bags this size, people said that these were actually great to um, carry this bag as a backpack. So you pull the straps out, you buckle them in like so, and you are good to go. You have uh, the ability to carry this as a backpack. Um, it even does include the um, chest strap, which is a nice feature. And I'm gonna just go ahead and throw this on real quickly. Of course, this is empty, but you can see it on my back. Um, it is super light, but feels great. Um, the way that the straps fit were fantastic. So that's really it for first impressions. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up with some, uh, with some clothes and things and then we'll see what it looks like full uh, and I'll continue to, to review it. Okay, I wanted to give you all an idea of the capacity and what it's like to carry. So I went ahead and loaded up the bag with about 40 pounds of stuff. Um, and I'll take everything out and show you what all I put in there. Uh, but off the bat, I was a little bit hesitant. I saw the interior capacity. I was like, I don't know if this will be able to hold all the stuff that I'd want to put in here. But as you'll see, I have a bunch of books, uh, easily a week's worth of clothes, multiple uh, jackets and coats, uh, like four pairs of shoes, toiletries. And this is what it looks like fully loaded and on the back. Off the bat, you know, it does load up really, really well. I didn't even organize it. I didn't use the tie downs. I kind of just threw everything in there just to see how much you can kind of cram into the bag and you will uh, i'll have you know that it is a highly crammable bag which is something that i appreciate because i'm one of the types of people that likes to be over prepared rather than under prepared um one thing i will call out the shoulder straps wearing it as a backpack really isn't that bad i've been wearing it for about five minutes now um, walking around with it the straps in the chest hold it nice and tight to your body so you feel like you could really um, get around with it. And even though it's a 40 pound bag, um, you know, you, I, could, I could see myself running through an airport or running to catch a cab, whatever it is, um, I could do that. Wearing 40 pounds on your shoulders without a belt to redistribute the weight will get tiring, especially on your shoulders and back. So this isn't something I would recommend for a backpacker or someone that's going to be walking a very long distance with this amount of gear. If you have 40 pounds of weight that you're gonna be hauling around, your shoulders will get tired very quickly. I can tell that after probably five to 10 minutes that my shoulders definitely can feel the weight. It's not ridiculous, but if you were going to be walking for miles and miles or have this bag, on your back for more than an hour. Um, definitely something I would consider is getting something with one of those belts that adjusts the weight. Um, but overall for uh, week long trips, things like that, this seems to be enough capacity and comfort to get by. Um, and I'm gonna take it off and show you what I filled it up with.
Okay, here is the loaded bag, what it looks like with the straps out. And you can see when it's loaded up, it stands up pretty tall. Um, so a nice tall bag, uh, looks great loaded, honestly. I really, really like the look of it, the feel of it. Um, the straps, like I said, were great. And these handles, you can just pick this up and feel like you can toss it around, carry it from the side, which I'm someone who likes to carry bags like this. So I imagine I'll be carrying it like this quite a lot um, and lug it. But another nice feature is let's say you're checking this in um, or you know, uh, you know, you get to your destination. One thing that is nice is you can quickly put all of these straps away. So it's got this front um, flap. Let's see. Front flap um, that securely uh, puts all of the cords away so it keeps it nice and sleek. And here it is. This would be ready to load onto a car, to strap down, to toss into a back seat, or to toss, um, you know, not get caught on anything if you're checking this bag. Um, so definitely like that feature. One con that I'll mention is the 95 liter doesn't come with a single shoulder strap. Um, there's these points you would probably be able to put a shoulder strap. The 65 liter in smaller version does, um, but let me just go and grab my old Wilson strap and put it on and test that out. This is definitely a large bag to be carrying it on your shoulder, um, but definitely like the option to be able to do that from time to time. So I'll just use this Wilson bag for the time being. And I mean, as you might imagine, this is actually a really nice way to carry a bag. I'm, I'm a shoulder strap carrier. Um, so this uh, just clipped it on, came from the other bag. Um, and you can carry this around really well. So unfortunately, this version of the bag doesn't come with the shoulder strap, um, which there's pros and cons. The, the con is it doesn't come with it. The pro is that you can shop around for shoulder straps that are really, really nice um, and buy that. And it seems like with these little lash downs that a shoulder strap will fit on it really well. Um, so there's a little bit of a con, no included shoulder strap. Um, but the backpack carrying handles are really nice. Now let's see everything that I packed in this bag and give you an idea about just how much this 95 liter can pack. Uh, once again, I wasn't organized. I really just threw everything in there. So I'm going to pull it out and show you the type of capacity this thing has. I'll start with the side pocket that I put a iPad pro in, um, for easy grabbing as well as a wallet in. And that's really all on the side. I'm not a big side packet guy. Um, and then here we go. Let's open up the main compartment. Had the clips. All right. And we open it up and see just everything crammed in there just the way I like it. Other people would, this would stress them out, but I'm not a big compartmentalizer. We'll be looking into some packing cubes, but didn't lose them, use them here. So one thing I was trying to find stuff to just add a ton of weight to it and, um, you know, dimension. So I packed a ton of books and this is just an example that, you know, this bag can, um, pack a ton of heavy things such as books. Okay, now we have our empty bag. This is everything that was fitting inside the bag. Let me reiterate, I did not organize this at all. No packing cubes, hardly folding, definitely not rolling. Everything really just shoved into the bag. So this is a lot of capacity, plenty of room to travel comfortably for a week, even somewhere where you're going on like a ski trip or something like that. So I'll point out a few call outs here. One is four pairs of shoes. This is exceptional capacity, including a pair of boots. Now, if you have hiking boots or other boots, obviously they're gonna take up more room, but four pairs of shoes in there, that's wonderful. Another thing is three different outer layer pieces. So a hoodie, a jacket, and a big puff jacket. This isn't a puff jacket that folds down nicely. It really is a big guy um, and it fit in there. Of course, we have a hat and more gear that was in there. So, I mean, more books than you would ever need to pack in your life, but it held all of those, this water bottle, speaker, 
uh, computer, iPad, glasses, um, you know, flashlight, toiletries, beanie. Um, and then let's get to the clothes. So overboard on lots of these, but just as an example, we have seven pairs of shorts. We had two pairs of pants, including one real thick pair of denim. Uh, we have three different short sleeve shirts, and then I wanted to pack long sleeve shirts because they take up more room. Six long sleeve shirts, a ton of underwear and socks. So this bag right here, the Osprey, was able to you know comfortably hold and carry all of this gear. Um, which is a great capacity, really pleased by that. Was a little bit worried with how much you'd be able to pack in there. Um, but if you are looking to pack this amount a little bit less or even wanna pack some more, this, this bag can definitely carry that. If you're wanting to get more and be more efficient, use packing cubes. I'm gonna to start to use those to help organize my different things and minimize weight. But overall, really great amount of clothes you're able to fit in there. So that's really it for my first impressions of the bag. Overall, I think this is a really excellent, versatile, outdoors or lightweight bag that will work for most people who do like duffel bags. If you're someone that likes interior organization, um, this probably isn't the bag for you since it really is just one big compartment for all of your things. But if you are someone that likes that and likes to just squeeze as much stuff into one space that you possibly can, this will be a good option. One complaint that I do have is the lack of shoulder straps. I wish it did have that one strap that slung over your shoulders, but the backpack straps are quality and will definitely do. So if you are a shoulder strap person um, that likes a single shoulder strap or you like to wheel your bag around, this also probably isn't the bag for you. But if you like carrying thing as a backpack or you like just being able to hold things kind of like a briefcase, excellent bag option. Overall, really happy with this bag. The look, the feel, the function, it is relatively minimal, but the features that it does have are well thought out, and I think this is gonna be great for my particular situation. Um, it goes on the market anywhere from $130 to $170, depending on where you shop and the color you're looking at. This one uh, was around $140. Um, so not, you know, not cheap, not really expensive, kind of right there in the sweet spot. Uh, could be a little bit more on the expensive end for duffel bags, but overall, not a bad bang for your buck. But I hope this review helped you understand a little bit more about the Osprey bag, kind of why I chose it, what I'll be using it for. And if you're on the fence of choosing one bag over the other, maybe this will be a good review to help you out. Overall, you know, I think this bag isn't for everyone, but for the people that it is for, kind of like me, I think you'll love this bag, um, as I sure I, I will. So can't wait to travel it with this. I took the bag traveling for nine days. Um, <clears throat> went to both a wedding and to Florida for a beach trip, and so I uh, got some good usage out of the bag. Um, and a few things I wanted to point out from that. Um, you know, one of the first things is that uh, it held everything I needed it to. Um, I packed about 40 pounds of stuff in there. Um, like I said earlier, one of the negatives about the bag is there's no interior organization. Um, so having, I just use plastic bags, like gallon plastic bags to organize my clothes in, which helped save space and organize things a ton. Uh, I would recommend packing cubes for a bag like this that doesn't really have interior organization. You can see I actually used the case it came in to pack stuff in there. Um, let's see, another thing. The backpack straps actually worked really well. I was super pleased um, with how the straps felt. Um, I was able to carry them around. The only negative is that whenever I would check this in, um, you know, I'd have to, to, to put the backpack straps back, or at least I elected to do so, because um, these are hanging out, hanging around. Um, you know, the other negative is when the back strap uh, straps are hooked up, um, it's kind of hard to access the bag, so kind of hard to get in and out there. Um, but let's see. Overall, um, everything held up 
super super well i tried doing the one strap over um over the bag and it's okay uh one thing you'll notice and this is going to happen with travel is that you can see kind of black skid marks on the bag already or at least i can see um so it's like there's black skids right there kind of from being tossed around the tarmac um here's the bottom of the bag so definitely can tell it's pretty dirty and Oh, I haven't noticed this, but here is part of the bag, and it looks like it got snagged on something, um, and it got has gotten beat up during transit, it looks like. So some scuffs here, scuffs here, little snags here. Um, so it definitely, you know, if you're someone that doesn't like to, none of this really bothers me much, but if you're someone that doesn't like to see the wear and tear, um, then maybe I'd suggest getting a darker color, like a gray or something, but you can definitely see, um, a bit scuffed up. So, but nothing bad. Well, I, I assume it's going to last a lot longer. Um, but overall works really, really well for the trip. Um, really well for everything I needed it to do. And we'll be excited to travel with it again, but I'm going to get it unpacked and, uh, get it stowed away and have it ready for the next time I need to use it. But Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the kind of review. And as always, thank you for keeping it real with Ryan.